Socorro Marquez here with you from my room of hope or Mi Cuarto de la Esperanza. I promised a friend of mine I would do it in English, so today I'm going to do it in English. Uh, mainly what these videos are about, uh, I like to talk about a lot of different things that go on in my life, whether I've gone through or things that are happening around me. So that's why I wanted to uh, do this video in English because I've done uh, probably 15, 16, 17 videos or so in Spanish. And uh, I have a lot of my friends saying, hey, but we don't understand it. What are they about? Uh, why don't you do one in English so we can understand? And like I was telling you, all my videos, my topics have been about like respect or like um, uh, valuing yourself or your our parents and stuff like that. So I wanted to make one especially for you guys. So my topic today will be, of course, Tatum, New Mexico, because I love Tatum. Tatum has been such, such a special place for me because uh, I grew up there. Uh, I was only about seven, eight years old when I moved to Tatum. Uh, and Tatum actually helped shape the person, the woman that I am today. So that's why I wanted to touch base about Tatum. Why is Tatum so important to me? Um, when I was about seven or eight years old, we moved uh, to, to Tatum from a little bitty town at the, right there by the border of Presidio and Ojinaga. Uh, we moved from there because it was a very, very, uh, there was nothing to do, there was not a lot. My, my dad was sick, so one of our uncles went, uh, picked us up, and we came to live in New Mexico in Tatum. And so ever since then, uh, you know, Tatum is very special to me because it taught me, uh, I actually learned how to speak the proper English, um, made a lot, a lot of good friends there. And Tatum is just so special because we were so, uh, we bonded. It was like a family. It wasn't just a little town in the middle of nowhere. Actually, for those of you that don't know, Tatum is about an hour west of Roswell, New Mexico. So that's where we come from. Uh, the population is very, very small. Uh, we graduated with like, what, I think 23, 25 students in our class. So we're a very, very, very small little bitty city. Uh, Whenever we were growing up, I remember uh, the teachers, they all cared. They wanted you to succeed. They wanted you to learn. They taught you with a lot of love. And that's something I'll never forget. I always remember uh, Mrs. Huckabee would walk with my cousin Linda, uh, hold her hand uh, during races, and she would walk with her all through the playground and stuff, and, and she, she loved her. And you know, uh, now that I see the schools over here, and they're also really good schools, so I'm not gonna say they're not, but it was, Tatum was just something, something totally different. I remember uh, me riding the bus forever, Ugh. bus seven, and the, the bus ride was so long. We were on there for like about an hour. I don't even know how long, but it was so much fun. We had fun riding the bus. Uh, we would take snacks. We would eat Doritos or a Snickers. I don't know, something to be munching on. And we would be all laughing and joking and you wouldn't even feel it. By the time we knew it, we were already home. I also remember uh, something very, very important that Tatum uh, did for us. Uh, it was back early, early 90s, I wanna say, and uh, we lived out in the country. We always lived out in the country. And uh, my dad got really sick, so he got uh, let go where, where we were working out, where my dad was working out. And then we didn't have a house to go to. Uh, one of our friends, my parents' friends, uh, actually gave us uh, a few rooms where we could stay. And I remember that the entire community came together and, and they gathered these big old boxes full of clothes. Uh, it was around Christmas time. And they went to, to that house and they took us a big old box full of uh, clothes and gifts and toys and they gave us a bunch of food and stuff. And to this day, that's something that's very dear to me because uh, a community came together and helped a family in need. And I'll never forget. I remember that the, the gift I got was a, a purple, they were warm-ups or sweatpants in a, in a purple sweater. And of course I was really skinny back then, not no more. Ever since I had the twins, I exploded to the sides and stuff, but hey, I wouldn't trade it for the world. And uh, the purple uh, warm-ups were so big on me, I was like, oh my gosh. So I, I remember folding them like a thousand times so that they wouldn't fall off. And then my sweater was, I, I had to fold it. But you know what? That was uh, probably one of the first times that we got something new. So I was, I was like in heaven. I also remember that my aunt and my uncle, when they took us in, I got my first pair of shoes from Payless. They were those $3 shoes. They're kind of like the imitation of the kids. 
but they were the cheaper brand, obviously. And man, I could not even sleep. I had my first pair of brand new shoes and I was so excited. I also remember that my aunt and uncle took us all in and they already had all their kids and there were a lot. And uh, you know, somehow we managed, God was present and he helped us uh, get on our feet and um, we were able to make it okay. And that's that, that was before we went to that ranch where, uh, where my dad got let go. Anyway, so Tatum has always been very, very special to me. Uh, as we grew up, we were growing up together, all of us in the, in the same school. I'm probably one of the eldest in, in the class of 99. I'm 40 and I'm probably the first one to turn 40 because uh, I got held back a grade uh, when we first got to Tatum. So I was a year older than everyone in the class. And so, uh, you know, when we were growing up, we, we, we became such good friends with everyone. And, and that's something that will never, that can never be replaced. And so whenever you grow up with the environment like that, you, you help each other out. Uh, you, you give each other rides, you, you motivate each other, you push each other. Of course, there was a bunch of, um, uh, what do you call it? A bunch of challenges in our lives and stuff, but at the end of the day, it was all friendly competition. We were all trying to uh, win a championship, or we were all trying to play volleyball, or little dribblers, or whatever it was at the time. I remember uh, going into the seventh grade, uh, one of my favorite coaches in Tatum was Mr. Brooks. Oh, he was so sweet. He was really funny. He always had a, a Coke and some peanuts in there, and he was always cutting up his jokes. A very, very smart man. My respects to him. And um, he he just he just taught me a lot. Really pushed me. Believed in me. And uh, I thank God for sports. A lot of other people chose to do drugs or chose to go a different path, and that's okay. It was whatever worked for us at the time. What worked for me was the fact that um, that the sports was like a, an outlet for me because my parents had a lot of issues. And so I remember playing my heart out every single game. And, and I think people could see that because uh, I spoke to another one of my favorite, favorite coaches, Mr. Majors. Oh, I loved Mr. Majors. He was. He was the mom. He taught me a lot, believed in me, helped me. I remember uh, after practice, uh, he would uh, give one of the, the guys or the girls and say, hey, please give Socorro a ride to her house. Shout out to Trisha. Sometimes she had to give me a, a, a ride. Jay, uh, Mr. Majors. I mean, everyone probably gave me a ride. Uh, everyone probably gave me a ride uh, home because I didn't have a car. And so stuff like that is stuff that you never forget. But I also remember uh, my parents always teaching me to say, yes ma'am, no ma'am, please, thank you, and, and stuff like that. So um, where I'm going now with Tatum, it, it, it taught me so many things that I feel that we're losing nowadays. Nowadays, you wanna compete with who has the best car, who has the best truck, who's got the most expensive clothes, who's got the best uh, booty, or who's got the best, or, or you wanna go get operated, and you wanna go do this, and we're losing focus on what's important, which is family, love, respect. And uh, hopefully none of those values are getting lost with the people that I know. Hopefully you're still continuing to be nice and, and, and friendly like we were back in the day. Hopefully you're still helping someone else out. Hopefully you're still, uh, I remember Jenna Kinsalvin and her mom would always help um, pay for mine and, and my sister Petra's uh, meals and stuff. And uh, it just, oh man, it, you don't know what that did for me. Uh, I remember Vanessa giving me a ride, Andrea uh, giving me rides to college, to, uh, to the junior college in Hobbs. And you know, uh, so many so many fond memories that I have of Tatum. So that's why I wanted to do a special little shout out to, to Tatum, New Mexico, Lady Kyle's. Ooh. Um, never, never, never ever will forget. But uh, I hope that it still continues to be a beautiful, beautiful town uh, uh, full of love, and, and friendships and and uh, you know if there is competition let it be friendly competition and not not the bad type the jealousy you know behind the backstabbing and stuff like that and then we go back to how it was back in the day I also remember uh, the lunches that we had at the cafeteria oh they were the best the hamburgers with the fries the pigs in the blanket I'm actually a little hungry so uh, that's why I have what I have right now a little poochie poochie here from my Actually, the twins are the ones that got me. When I had my daughter, everything was fine. I went back to normal. And ever since I had the twins, I just kind of like, ugh. I did, I gained like probably 
I think I weighed 120 and then when I had the when I was pregnant with the twins I think I got to 175 almost 180 so that was the first for me I was all swollen I looked like Fiona walking around with my big fat stomach I wouldn't trade it for the world it's all part of being a mom and, and I love it so very very thankful to God that I had my twins and my um, soon to be 12 year old princess such a blessing uh, also I remember um, you know the, the the bus rides uh home they were so so fun and the my daughter sometimes i make her ride the bus just so she can know what it's like what i grew up with and uh she says she's scared to ride the bus because the kids that's on the bus are now cussing each other out and are threatening each other and are just cussing left and right and stuff like that and i was like how sad that you know what has come to now and where we're headed it used to be such, it used to be fun to ride the bus and now we're scared to send our kids on the bus. So a lot of stuff like that is what's changing and I just pray to God and I just pray to God that uh, we, 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 we're, we're starting with home and with our kids and that we're teaching them right from wrong and that we are teaching them how to, to still say please and still say thank you and, and yes ma'am and no ma'am and how to help others. Uh, I've been very blessed. I have a drywall company with my business partner and uh, we, uh, this year is our 10th year together in business. Um, I have five more minutes. You wanna say the joke? You got a joke? Okay, so I'm gonna take a little, uh, I'm gonna pause real fast because Priscilla came up with a joke. So she's gonna say a little joke right now. And this is my soon to be 12 year old princess in about, I don't know how many days, on October 9th. So anyway, what's your joke? Why did the tomato blush? Because it's red? No, because the salad was dressing. Because the what? The salad was dressing? The salad was dressing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, so um, I, I hope that we are teaching our kids right from wrong. I hope we're teaching them uh, to, to do the best they can. I hope we're teaching them to say again, yes ma'am, no ma'am, and, and not lose that. I remember, you know, obviously that came from, from the parents that the, that the students would give us a ride home, that they would help us out and stuff. I remember people letting me borrow clothes or a nice dress because I didn't have a nice dress to go to like a little luncheons or whatever it was for, for, for basketball or for volleyball and, and everyone shared their clothes. You know, uh, nowadays uh, I, won't, I won't ever have a garage sale. I will donate all my clothes that I don't want. I will help whoever I can. I will give people a ride left and right even if it's prohibited. Uh, and why do I do this? Because everyone did it for me when I needed it most. So uh, hopefully we're still passing that along. Hopefully Tatum is still as, as fun as it was a while back. I haven't gone to Tatum in a long time. Uh, I saw on Kenda that your kids are uh, doing the, the stock shows and all that or whatever you call it with the pigs and all that. That is so cool. Uh, I saw, uh, Trish, I saw your baby getting all dirty and stuff. That's what being a kid is. We need to go back to our roots and and, and, and and enjoy life. And who cares? Who cares if we have this big fat rolls right here? I got full, I'm full of cellulite right here. And I got like the Mississippi River running through my forehead. But hey, that's part of life. I'm not gonna go get Botox. I'm not, well, I don't know. But I, I don't wanna go get Botox or anything because it, it'll take away my character and who I am and the years that I'm 40 years old and that's part of my life. That's part of who I am now. You know, yes, I would like to be uh, with my six pack like I used to have, but you know what? My, your body changes when you get married. Your body changes when you have babies. Your body changes a lot when you have twins. And you know, learn to embrace it. Learn to enjoy, enjoy a good meal. Enjoy some chocolate chip cookies, my favorite. Enjoy sweets once in a while, maybe not every day. Uh, but you know, life is so short. Uh, we lost our brother John at age 16. He would have been 32, 33. I want to say this year, you know. And, and ever since then, I learned that life is life could, you know, could, you could lose your life like that. So I learned to live life a little bit more on the chill side. Uh, learned to appreciate family a lot more and uh, friends and stuff. Uh, the other day, I posted a thing that I went to visit my friend Crystal. And oh man, the, the love that her little daughter had for her, she must be doing something right because she she loves Crystal so much. And you know, uh, it was nice catching up with her. Uh, I hadn't seen her in forever. 
uh, our family is so big. Uh, every time we get together, we're always laughing or fighting or eating or whatever it is. But it's it's those moments that stick with you forever. So with that being said, uh, I just want to say uh, hello to everyone. I haven't seen you in a while, but uh, you have a very, very special place in my heart. And I'll never forget Tatum. I'll never forget uh, my coaches that made a, a difference in my life, especially Mr. Mangers. Such a, such a cool man, uh, so sweet, so nice, so respectful. And uh, because of him, um, he taught me a lot. My parents taught me to be a go-getter, not to give up, to always hustle, to always work hard, to be honest. And I feel that uh, that's what I'm trying to do with my kids, pass those good morals on to them so that we can continue and, and, and help make a difference in this world because uh, right now uh, our, our beautiful world is getting or becoming ugly and we need to make it beautiful again. We need to unite. We need to have the meals, home cooked meals uh, for supper and, and have a little prayer and, and talk about the day. And, and instead of just being with your uh, lap, your, what, do you, what do you call it? Your um, your electronics, whatever they're called. I don't even know because my kids don't have one. I don't even, they don't have any Xbox or Nintendo, whatever they're called. Because I want them to use their mind and, and be creative and stuff. And uh, so I just wanted to pass all that on to you. So anyway, th this is a little bit of, of what I do on all my other Spanish videos. I feel like I could transmit more in Spanish than I can in English for whatever reason. I guess because uh, Spanish was my, my first language. So I just feel like I could connect with you more in Spanish than I can in English. But I hope that uh, you like this video. Uh, Kenda, I told you I would make you one in English, and so I did. Rana, Jenna, here you go. Um, it was nice seeing you guys again, chatting with you through at least video. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully it helped a little bit. And that's that's my whole point of this video is to motivate you, to help you, uh, to captivate a little smile on your day for uh, of your day. And uh, that, that's pretty much it. And I always end my videos with a little small prayer. Uh, thank you so much again for following me um, and sharing my videos to maybe someone that's having a bad day or something. At least you could laugh at me for a little bit or enjoy the video. I don't know. Give you a smile. Uh, and then with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, so much for uh, letting me see this beautiful sun, for enjoying the sun rays, for enjoying, for letting me have my family, for letting, letting me have my vision, my hands, my mouth, uh, my help. Uh, it's a plus. I pray for all those that are suffering to give them a smile, to hug them, and let them know that you're here. Amen. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.